All I can say is that my life is pretty plain. And I like watching the puddles gather rain. And all I can do is pour some tea for two. And speak my point of view, but it's not sane. It's not sane. I just want someone to say to me, no, 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 no. And I'll always be there when you wake. Oh, yeah. You know I like to keep my cheeks dry today. So stay with me and I'll have it made. And I don't understand why I sleep all day. And I start to complain when there's no rain. And all I can do is read a book to stay awake. And it rips my life away, but it's a great escape. 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 And all I can say is that my life is pretty plain. You don't like my point of view, think I'm insane. It's not sane. And it's not sane. I just want someone to say to me, no, 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 no. Well, I'll always be there when you wake. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know I like to keep my cheeks dry today. So stay with me and I'll have it made. I'll have it made. Oh, I'll have it made. I know you know, no. I know you really wanna, really gotta have it made. Oh, 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 Hello, my name is Gravity Groove. Welcome to Not Safe for Work Magic. Uh, that was um, No Rain by Blind Melon. Um, Shannon did not uh, did not last that long, tragically. Uh, but man, he was a gifted singer and songwriter, and uh, I wish you would have got to hear a little more from the man before he went. Um, we are continuing to play some standard decks here. And we have tried uh, most of the popular variants so far, but uh, I still feel like I want to keep going back to this Grixis Brew, mostly because Ugin just feels like it uh, is pretty good against the format. And I feel like this deck is just kind of reasonable against everything. Um, spike Field Hazards can take out uh, early 1-1s um, one against most most brews. The Bone Crusher Giant has been great. Um, just getting an early uh, Maze Mind Tome down and drawing cards while being able to hold up tricks has felt really reasonable. Uh, it's not the most, um, I guess, interesting strategy, but it feels like it answers the field fairly well. Uh, and I do want something that feels good to play into the field on ladder. I'm going to be trying Teamer again sometime. Uh, we tried a couple of the Teamer variants that were popularized. Uh, we have not tried the... Uh, Epiphany version, which will probably eventually just bite the bullet and buy the Epiphanies, because they'll be in rotation for another two years, so why the hell not? Um, for now, I guess Ugin probably deserves to be the face of this deck, huh? Uh, we're going to give this another shot and see how it feels today. The sideboard is 
Uh, we have four uh, sh uh, Skyclaves we want to bring in against the um, the Sultai deck. So against Sultai, we're bringing in three Negates and four Skyclaves, bringing out some of the removal. We want to leave in uh, a Heartless after two, maybe, because they will bring in Coma. Um, Elspeth Nightmare comes in against uh, a lot of different things, depending on if we see a lot of two power hits. Sometimes it comes in against Control just to act as a suspended duress. Obviously comes in against any Croxa Brews or any Cycling Brews. The Soul Shatter generally comes in against the uh, Celtai deck because they only have a few threats. And uh, if we have Soul Shatter as an instant response when they drop Coma, when they try to play Yorian, when they uh, ultimate him and bring out a uh, uh, Tybalt, or a Vorinclex, we can Soul Shatter and make them sacrifice uh, one of those cards. The Ox is just in here as another potential card uh, for card advantage, maybe against grindy control matchups, maybe just uh, an, uh, a single escape card against the Rogues deck, which I think is also reasonable. We also have a couple additional pieces of removal in here in Eliminate and Heartless Act and a Pestilence Haze. Uh, this is mostly going to be for the mono red and mono white aggro decks, although I could also see it coming in against the uh, the Totsuki Naya deck. There's another way to potentially kill Totsuki, and uh, they do tend to go very, very wide with Clarion Spirit. This could always be an additional Shadows Verdict. Uh, I don't know if it should just be another Shadows Verdict. I'm still figuring that one out. It's a work in progress, folks. No deck list is final. Let's see if we can play some games of Magic today, or if we can just get uh, like land screwed over and over again. It seems pretty reasonable. Because we have four land, we're going to hold the spike field hazard and see if we need to cast it. Probably just play the Triome out. Okay. Now we did cut a land from this original brew. It used to have 26 plus uh, four spike field hazards. We cut one land, and now it's uh, 25, and three hazards, and one uh, Shatter Skull Smashing. So we have probably a Death Touch, a Death Touch Aggro, is what I would suspect this is. Which is unfortunate because all their good creatures are like three toughness, which makes our Bone Crusher really awkward. Uh, let's see, we've got Chandra's double red, Shadows is double black. I guess it doesn't really matter at the moment. This is legendary, so killing it probably just means he sets up another one. Just doesn't seem like a particularly good use of our turn. Although we can't really play the Bone Crusher until this thing is gone. We'll just cycle. That's decent. We want to play this into. I think we're just going to pass another turn. Hold up our removal options. If I have to, I will uh, Bone Crusher and Spike Field Hazard to get rid of a, th a threat. 
but I want to see if we can get value out of Disdainful Stroke. Uh huh. 20 turn clock, folks. Really? Okay. Okay, so we got Shadow's Verdict. Uh -huh. I guess because we have five mana now, we're just gonna hold up Stroke for one more turn. Play the Bone Crusher. I would assume that this is just a uh, Death Touch deck, but maybe it's just Saltai with... Yeah, maybe it's just uh, the regular old Cruel Ultimatum deck with uh, these things. The Chevelles is like a stopgap. I don't really care about Binding. We need to hold Disdainful and assume that it is a... Uh, assume that it is a, a Cruel Ultimatum deck. Uh, just a couple, uh, couple land here. Uh, again, I don't feel like this matters that much. Only three basics left in the deck. If he wants to turn and kill spell into a card draw, that's pretty okay, I think. Yeah, it's starting to look like it's just regular old Sultai with uh, Chevelle as a defensive measure. Mm, although, maybe not. Once he tapped under ultimatum, I figured we didn't care about the stroke, so. Um, huh. We really want one of our Maze Mind Tomes. We're getting to the point where we want some of our card draw. Maze Mind Tome or our uh, Behold the Multiverse or one of our Planeswalkers would be pretty great. I don't know what this deck is. I just don't know what this deck is. Like, if you're Jund, why do you have blue in all your extra lands? I don't understand. He's drawn a couple extra cards though, which sucks for us. We haven't really uh, been doing the card advantage of our deck thing very well. Really need a maze mind tome. Um, sh 
sure. He's got lots of two for one creatures, though. It's really good against us, actually. Like Murder Rider is something we have to deal with, and we don't have a lot of good, a lot of good answers. Ugin's pretty good. He doesn't have another uh, another murderous rider. He very easily could. So there's no deck in this format. I, I want to make this clear. There's no deck in this format that plays murderous rider. Not a single one. Uh, we sat down to queue up a match, and we got paired against the only guy in the entire universe who's still playing murderous rider just in case you wondered if uh if the matchmaker was rigged along with the shuffler uh, i would say yeah yeah definitely is the one guy still playing murderous rider so we need him to play a couple creatures out here and then we can uh shadow's verdict Okay, that's pretty great for us. I think that means we're still in it. We've got Disdainful Shark and Soul Shatter for the next scary thing. We're just uh, drawing and going for a while here. Stop top decking Gold Span Dragons. Three down, one to go. Yep. Two for ones forever, folks. Two for ones forever. in terms of value pile. It's actually pretty good. That seems like the kind of thing I'd like to play, but it shouldn't actually be good. Yeah. Really need him to brick. You got a land and a land. And then we draw stroke. Hilarious. Well, still four Maze Mind Tomes in our deck. That's pretty scary. Well, we got one uh, Heartless Act left, one Soul Shatter. Well, there's a Maze Mind Tome. Might be too late. Yep. Got a couple more draws. Oh, feeling pretty dead, folks. Triple land on top, huh? 
Let's see if it's quadruple. It's a blocker. Now nine lands total remaining in the deck. I really want to have a Crawling Barons in here, but I don't know if we can run Crawling Barons with uh, a three-color base. Yep. Okay. I guess we'll draw and see if we hit our... Uh, our last um, shadows. Unfortunately, I think we're going to have to just kill the mammoth. I hope he doesn't draw a payoff for his uh, Edgewall Innkeeper. So, it's not dead to Goldspan Dragon. Seven total land, uh, total land left of the deck. Twenty-three cards. Yeah, we got it. Okay, just gain a little life. See if our win conditions are actually the last three cards in our deck. Could be. Wow. Okay. Uh. Holy fuck. Okay. Five total land left in the deck. He just never fails to go this way, huh? We even cut a land from the damn thing. play the land. Um, none of these are really usable, huh? Yeah. Well, we got some garbage cards out of our deck, I guess. We only have 14 cards left, folks. I don't know if we're actually going to be able to close the game. remaining in the deck. Bone Crusher Giant. Okay. We have drawn a lot more cards than our opponent. We're still looking like we're going to lose here. They're out of basics. Probably just holding removal in hand. This verdict does not do much for us. Yep. Can't believe I'm going to mill out. Mm. One 
to the one guy playing Murder Strider. What a bad time. He still has one more um, dragon. If he tops that, then we're going to be sad. draws left, which should be enough to just three him until he dies. Uh, yeah. while innkeeper at this point. We've got six cards left in deck, so I don't think we actually want to draw with this. I think we just want to scry. I don't think we care about the edge wall innkeeper anymore. So there's nothing we can do. We just need our Bone Crusher or our last Ugin to be able to close this out. That's not going to do it. Every part of the deck, huh? Man, he's just all kill spells, too. Four bindings. We've seen two murder riders. Four cards left in deck. I think Spike Field Hazard is one to any target. So if we can hit him for one more strike. The fact that he gains life off that actually sucks a lot. So we have only two cards left, huh? I keep spike feel hazard. That doesn't solve this problem. No way it does. Has anyone ever killed a person with spike feel hazard? We have. Okay. So this is a knockdown drag out. So we want Ox. We saw 
How many targets potentially for um, Nightmare? Chevelle, Murder Shrider, Edgewell, enough, enough. Uh, we probably want that for card advantage. Skyclave, not going to be doing much. Um, we want, we probably need a couple Shredded Sails to stay in there. Probably three. Shredded Sails is really good because it kills their, uh, their biggest threat to us, which is the Dragon, as well as the, uh, the Henge, which is their other biggest threat to us. The question is, what's bad? I feel like we're sort of pre-sideboarded here. Um, there are a lot of things I want, and not a lot of things that seem good to cut, really. Can cut one spike. All these cards just seem very, very good. Cut two spikes. Kind of sales for a heartless act. This is a tough one, man. We have too many cards that are good in this matchup. Which probably tells me I have too much removal in the sideboard. Should probably cut a piece of removal for another control tool. Well, we have Maze Mind Tome on two and Bone Crusher. Um, and behold, yeah, seems pretty good. So, I feel like the red is more important currently. Well, there goes our Maze Mind Tome. Really? Must have artifact hate to get rid of this. Huh. I don't think I want to bottom that yet. Yeah, we'll take it. and a half out of our tome. It's fine. Uh, guess we're playing that on blue for the time being. Card advantage cards right away. It's kind of painful. Okay. I'm gonna cut edge wall innkeepers. I don't know. I 
I know we're going shields down for a turn, but he's not on the Tibalt turn yet, so I think it's okay. Once he's into Tibalt mana, then we need to keep the Stainful Stroke up for every turn. So I do kind of hope we'll hit a land soon. Good dragon turn for him. Um, yeah. If he drops a dragon, we're going to have to stroke it or shredding sails it, which will mean that soul shatter will be down. He does still play edge wall. Okay. So then playing this on blue was a mistake because we should have uh, we should have went double black. I think now we need to we need to dig. As much as I don't want to dump a uh, shredded sails because I know it's good in this matchup. Okay, so that gives us Shandi. Uh, he still has Murder Shrider up, but we'll at least get to kill the edge wall before he draws. Yeah. Now we're going shields down for the Tibalt turn, but we do have Soul Shatter. So we'll only actually get one thing out of it. At the very least, we're trading Chandra two for one. We get edge wall keeper and a Murder Shrider kill spell. Yep. Ten out of ten. Tiny card advantage. We can find our second black source. Did not know that was in the deck. Definitely a reason to uh, to not take the shields down there. Another verdict is not very good. Okay, so we're just gonna get pounded into oblivion now by the boner crusher well I feel like we piloted that as best we could we went for double blue and we had two disdainful strokes in hand but uh, that was clearly a mistake put us in a position where we need to answer his board. Three Shadows Verdicts in a row. Very, very funny deck. Very, very funny. Kind of shredded sails for another just piece of removal. I guess um, Heartless Act kills everything. Um, yeah, we just drew pretty awkwardly there. Maybe we want the other Soul Shatter because he's shown us so many Planeswalkers as well. Um, just drew a little awkwardly there. Triple Shadows Verdict, not where we wanted to be. This is a, a mulligan, right? Like, we've got double Ugin in hand, which is just awful. Oh, this is bad, too. At least we have a Maze Mind Tome. Now 
No blue mana is not very good. Edge wall on one is not very good. The 1-1 one, one Death Toucher, I guess, would be his best play here. Guarantee he gets a free card. choice here, do I? Very vulnerable to him just like playing a Bone Crusher now. Or a Mammoth. Got double black, double blue, I guess uh, red is what we need. Three eliminate or uh, three heartless acts, one eliminate remaining in the deck. Three soul shatters. Yeah, I'm gonna take a big hit. Now it would be nice to get a sh yeah, to get a shadows verdict actually. We actually do this and just take for Shadow's Verdict. Uh, Soul Shatter, I don't know if it's good enough. Really, really want the Verdict. Or, you know, double land. Well, I think we died. I believe we have died. Yeah. I believe we have died, folks. What a nice game one, but ultimately this deck was pretty favored to beat us. Just because they had inbuilt answers to our planeswalkers in um, old gods Ugin is too early let's see we can kill the 1-1 one, one. Uh, or the we have to kill the 1-1 one, one to stop the if he has another one we're just dead we can, I guess, dig first. I don't think it matters. Solemn. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. If we can survive two turns. But if he's got another Love Struck Beast or a 1-1 one, one of any kind, which he's got a lot of. Okay. So Kazandu's gonna... Just gonna say be a big boy next turn, but big boy this turn too. 
So if we can jump for one turn, we might have a chance, but it's pretty damn unlikely. If we have any removal here, we're also just dead. Even a bone crusher does it. Yeah, he's got something. Yep. That was a bad matchup. That was a very, very bad matchup. I mean, it was a good matchup in terms of gameplay and interaction, but very unfavored for us. Four binding and four murder strider in the main. And we have four win conditions. This is definitely a meta deck. And uh, the deck we just played against is not in the meta. We've got a Maze Mind Tome and a Behold, but a bunch of cards we can't cast for a million years. I mean, if our opponent's um, on aggro and they're going first, we're a hundred percent dead. If they're on something dirtily, Maze Mind Tome definitely gives us time. Yeah, this has got to be a mulligan. That's not much better. Uh, I do like all these cards though. I guess Solemn sort of unmulls us. Double Bone Crusher is uh, certainly a lot better to see here. If we're going up against anything aggressive. Shatter Skull is usually played in Croxa, right? Sure. Thank you, opponent. You were a tremendous help. So it is mono red. Ye olde mono red. Dorks. Hoping we find a uh, shredded sails here fairly soon. To keep him off the, uh, the inevitable cleave turn. Be the cleave turn? Sure. I feel like we're in a decent spot here. I guess stops the cleave. Um, I think it matters here. Uh, are we playing Solemn or the other Bone Crusher? Probably Solemn, right?
Oops, nope, 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 nope. So we have a frostbite. Does not have the snow lance yet. Probably has a frostbite. Doesn't seem excited to use it on Solemn Simulacrum. That could mean this is a cleave turn. That's probably what it means. Concession? Rimrock. That's really good. Opponent's definitely putting in the work. Do we want to scry here or draw the card? I think we have to scry. As much as I want to draw the card. Well. Guess we can bluff. He has another Ember Cleave. We're pretty screwed. Just going wide for Castle. Sure. Castle gives plus one. We did have frostbite. Confirmed. In this spot, we probably just have to cycle shredded sails. Damn it. Damn it. Holy fuck. You love when you draw infinity land. Isn't that the best? Good lord. Oh, okay. He didn't know they're all lands. So, take out the strokes. We'll rely on a couple shredded sails to deal with the cleave. Bring in a couple more pieces of spot removal. Uh, Pestilence haste kills most of the things we need to kill. Uh, Nightmare actually does okay. Soul Shatter. I guess we bring in the Nightmares because we'll probably bring in the Phoenix, right? This seems reasonable. Twenty-five land main with four modular lands. Definitely been better than 26 main. Um, we've got Maze Mine Tome into Ugin, or into Solomon to Ugin. We don't have any of our early removal, but I like this hand. I feel, I feel like I should risk it. But we have so many better potential starts with removal though. I think we have to mulligan it. This is basically a six card hand, right? Okay, well there's a spike field hazard and a tome. I guess that's arguably slightly better. We do have all our colors. Do a six land hand, folks. That'll be very good. Very good. Well, it's always hard to be on the draw against a deck like this. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll kill one of these things.
that's really sad. It's actually the perfect thing for uh, for us to get and for him to find. This is not an ideal card, but we're hoping that it keeps uh, Robber from casting our Bone Crusher. Roiling Vortex. Okay. That's pretty good when we're under this kind of pressure. We can't gain life anymore. pretty good. Especially if you play something else into it. Playing anything else into it. His hand is all removal. Or he's just refusing to commit any additional resources. I guess we didn't need all these Elspeth Nightmares because Shadow's Verdict kind of does the job too. Yeah, he's, he's never going to put that mana down, huh? So as it is, I really think that's going to get me. good choices here. It's so hard to beat this deck when you're on the uh, when you're on the draw. And both of our hands were pretty meh. Like we haven't drawn a single Eliminator Heartless Act. Our uh, our Bone Crusher got robbed. And he keeps having plays like this, which just keep us under too much pressure to recover. So now we need another... Uh... Well, Chandra is interesting. And Chandra is something. Still feel like we're pretty dead, though. Vortex just closed the door for me. Um, I don't think there's anything I could have done differently here. Just run it back. Gosh, we're not going to win a single set today, huh? That's kind of sad. This is a pretty good hand against aggro. As much as I'd like to have Spike Field Hazard up first, because we have two slow lands, I think we need to start with Triome. And hopefully we can recover the tempo by drawing uh, a third, uh, third land somewhere here. So we've got our red and blue. Here's our black. 
Got a lot, a lot, a lot of interaction here. Kind of wanted to see if we could get him to Rimrock first, but apparently not. Okay. So we've got double red, we need double black. Hopefully he doesn't have frostbite here, but he easily could. It's definitely within his range. Plays his own bone. Guess we grab a red. I think we kill the Annex before I can get two tokens. Even though that takes the, uh, oops, takes the Heartless Act away from us to potentially stop a Haven. Yep, trying to use every part of the animal here. Uh, if he has cleave here, we're probably just dead, because that's how all drain works. Yep. I don't like playing against cleave, folks. I'll be really happy when that rotates. Man, so we lost all of our games today. What have we learned? Um, even on the uh, even on the play against Mono Red, you can get L drained. Uh, it sucks because it's like the it's like the lowest skill expression deck in the format. But Embercleave is just so pushed a card, and leaves you with so few options to interact with it that it wins the game. It wins almost every game it's cast. It's got to be like ninety five percent of games you win when you cast it. And uh, it just feels bad. Like, it, it's, not a, it's not a reasonable card. It's like Oro, and they banned Oro. Or Oko, and they banned Oko. Or Wilderness Reclamation, and they banned Wilderness Reclamation. It doesn't do reasonable things in the game. It just wins. Uh, which, is not, uh, which is not fair or fun. It just wins. Like, if there's a wild card in your deck that you pull and you just, I win the game... Was that skillful that you played that? Was that win earned? Was that win interesting or challenging? I would argue no. Um, I still feel like this deck is really good. I'm going to continue playing it uh, off stream and see uh, how things shake out. But unfortunately, one of our opponents today was kind of the worst opponent for us to face. And the other just uh, got luckier than us, which is going to happen most of the time on this show. Uh, my name is Gravity Groove. This has been Not Safe for Work Magic. If you've enjoyed watching us try to play Grixis and feel like it's a pretty reasonable deck, if you're going to try it out yourself, please let me know in the comments. Uh, I'd love to know what you think about it and if you are going to, uh, if you're going to have success. Yeah, thanks so much for watching, and I do hope to see you back sometime. Sad boom. Boom. <laughs>